Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys today playing some more Clash Royale. As you can see, I'm on my Maybe Molt account, guys. This is my uh, level 7. I just hit level 7. I've been playing off and on for a while. I haven't done too many videos on it. I went on a crazy tilt this morning on my main account. Lost 7 in a row. I don't know how that happens. Um, I don't know. I lost 7 in a row. Um, I was first in the U.S. Now I'm like 11th. <laughs> I went from uh, 12th in the world to 76th. So I decided to switch off of it. I was getting a little mad, obviously, going on that kind of a tilt. But we are 2005 as a relatively early uh, level 7, guys. Um, and what we're going to be doing, I'm going to show you all my deck today, uh, what I've been playing with. We just faced two mortar users in a row, which is why you saw in the thumbnail. You guys are going to enjoy this one. All right, let's get into it. All right, so here we go with the first one, guys. This is my new deck that I'm using. It's got the balloon in it. It's got some other jazz in it. <clears throat> We're having some fun with it. Uh, I just said with it like 15 times. Okay, so um, we're in the Builder's Workshop. I love this arena. I think it looks really cool. So we're going to just start off with a little hog rush down here. Um, he's going to drop off his mortar. Terrible decision. A, you let me know that you have a mortar. Thank you very much. B, uh, what did that do for you? Now here I use my arrows. I've got no idea why because I have a bomb tower there. Mo what are you doing? Um, that's why I said oops. But a good way to counter the mortar, guys, is a bomb tower at any level. A bomb tower in the middle will do a great job, as well as anything with high uh, hit points. Now he's going to go ahead and melt us away here. Um, he's got literally the worst deck in the game. Like, this deck is... You're just bad. Um, so we are going to start a little bit of a slow push here, guys. Um, with our loon, watch this. We're going to come in... We're going to take out the uh, the Inferno Tower, and we're going to get our Bloon up in there. He's going to have to rocket it, because he doesn't know what in the world else he's going to do. Bloon's going to get there, take off a hit. I'm cracking up at this point. Like, that's hilarious to me. That's so freaking funny to me. Um, so we're waiting for him to put down um, his no skill card, I mean his Mortar. So he's going to put down his Mortar. We're going to put down our Bomb Tower right here. Give him a little bit of a laugh. Uh, because we know that it's going to sit there and do absolutely nothing. He's got his arrows ready. He's like, what am I going to do? I've got no idea. So he's going to fireball our bomb tower. That is a terrible use of a fireball. If you can't, like, he could, he, he could have even hit my tower with it. Don't do what this guy's doing, please, okay? If you want to be, if you want to be a good Clash Royale player, don't do what this guy's doing. So we're going to try and build up another, uh, little bit of a push here. This is just, I mean, he's just building buildings over here to protect the tower that I've already gotten to and dominated. So we're going to get up in there, crack up. Like, this is hilarious to me. Just building buildings in front of it, and then we're going to take your tower down very, very easily. Cry face, uh, how do I learn how to play like you? Uh, well, you stop using the mortar for one. So, now we're going to drop off the uh, bomb tower. I know a lot of you guys, it's so funny to me, like, whenever I uh, talk about the mortar. Watch this, we're going to freeze. We just took out... The mortar with the balloon, we're going to take out the inferno tower with the balloon, and we're going to take out the cannon with the balloon, all in one little sweep. All your buildings down the drain, my dude. Now he has absolutely no idea what to do with his life. He's extremely confused. He's questioning everything. He doesn't know who he is anymore. <laughs> um, but a lot of people say that I complain about the mortar because I can't beat it. To that, my response is just staring at you because I'm wildly confused. So now he's just going to start shooting rockets over 10 seconds left. What do I do? I don't know. I can't get any troops there, so I'm going to try and shoot these rockets over. I'm going to try and shoot these arrows, this fireball. I can't do anything. Keep in mind, he hadn't touched our tower up until that point. So get wrecked. Don't use that card, guys. Be the person that beats that card, not the person that plays that card, okay? Or that even deck. Not even just that card. Like, like I've talked about, if the mortar's used defensively, Go for it. I'll give you a hug, and I'll be like, thank you. That's how it's supposed, or that's how I think it's supposed to be used. Um, but when you build it in a deck like that, ooh, that's just sad. But that wasn't the first of the mortar users we faced. This one was a little closer. Let's get a little upset with this one, but you guys are going to love it. All right, so we're in the uh, the Royal Arena, because we're over 2,000, and we're uh, visiting Mr. Skrillex over here. He's giving us a little bit of a thumbs up, saying, "Woo! I can't wait to put down my mortar and shoot it at you. So he's going to start off with his... Uh, with his elixir pump. We switched in barbarians in this one instead of the prince. 
Um, so we're just gonna, this was my first time playing with the barbs um, in a while. Honestly, I haven't used barbarians in forever. So we're gonna let those come in and we're gonna get a little bit of a push going over here on the right side. And uh, we're going to be feeling pretty, guys. So we've got our free spell. We're getting ready to drop it off. Go ahead and use that. He's got minions. What are we going to do? I don't know. We're going to arrow them, maybe. So we're going to arrow those. I didn't know that he had them at that point in time. Uh, we're going to get off two hits on that tower. Now, this is when it gets stressful. His deck, at this point in time, doesn't look like a, uh, doesn't look like a mortar deck to me. So now I see this, and I'm like, seriously? Two in a row. Two in a row. Two in a row! <laughs> We're gonna drop off our goblins over here to take that down and I'm just gonna say thanks to him as he continues to shoot that um, Now what is he gonna do? I don't know build it directly in front of the tower <laughs> So gross um, Like that's not even that's not even good placement that makes it easier for me to take out like that makes it so much easier for me to take out So we're gonna start a little bit of a push back here from the back guys He's got his minion horde ready because he thought we were gonna start from a balloon from the beginning now He's gonna play really he's gonna play well here um, and uh, he's gonna drop off of there we're gonna go ahead and do what we got to do we're gonna freeze froze a little bit late and our arrows weren't ready but hey look at that we're gonna do some good damage to that tower um, and now I'm gonna go ahead and arrow over here this is when I got into trouble guys um, gosh he's so skilled Did, if anyone knows this guy give him my number so I can ask him how to play no um, so we're just sending over our goblins. He's gonna do a lot of damage right here guys In fact, he's gonna take down one of our towers before we ever even take down one of his so now We got to drop off our bomb tower to stop these barbarians from getting there even though we know that his mortar um, is gonna get over there and uh, And do some damage for him. So he's gonna take it out right there building the Tesla directly in front of the tower again disgusting um, so much skill drop off that free spell guys. He's gonna zap a little bit and watch this We're gonna arrow because we knew it was coming boom. Yeah, get wrecked thumbs up What's up now? He's gonna drop off his mortar because he didn't know what the freak else he's gonna do drop off this Mortar's gonna start and focus on our bomb tower which is exactly what we wanted it to do take it out now that he's in our lane He's in a lot of trouble guys his Tesla's over there Thank you for dropping off all of your defensive structures on the right side when you know I need to push the left Yes, please so all of his defenses were over there on the right. We're going to take out that elixir pump very quickly. Watch this. We know they're coming. We're going to go ahead and arrow those preemptively. And thank you very much for the victory, my man. You might want to learn how to play a different game because the mortar is not working for you. You're getting wrecked. Um, guys, please, if you use it, just don't, okay? Be a respectable player and use something else. I know a lot of you guys, uh, the comment section is going to be full of complaining with Molten. That's so hilarious to me. I love it. Keep feeding it. Keep feeding it, guys. I'm going to be the one of the only advocates for uh, getting rid of that kind of gameplay. Uh, I've talked to Pat about it a lot, and one way that he explains it that's very good is it's oppressive. Like, it's oppressive. Like, that's not fun. The person facing that isn't having fun. If you're facing, like, if you're sending troops back and forth, all this kind of stuff, that's fun. That's fun. Yeah, using a mortar might be fun for the person using it, but not for the other person. Um, if I get beat by somebody who's better than me, then that's awesome. That's a fun game. That's a close match. I really, really enjoy that kind of stuff. We were both sitting troops down the lanes. We're both doing good work like that. But that kind of gameplay just isn't encouraging. You know what I mean? Like, if I was a new player and didn't know that that card was in the game before, I was kind of stuff. If I just picked it up and I saw that, and guys, this, that, that's my problem with it, is that it's not inviting to everyone. You know what I mean? It's not inviting to everyone. Again, I don't complain about it because I can't beat it. I can very easily beat it. But when it's that kind of gameplay for someone who's new and they're like, oh, this game is fun, I want to play this, and they run into someone doing that, and they don't want to play that kind of gameplay, people just, th they just stop playing, and that's not good for the game. Um, let's go ahead, jump into a battle here, guys. Uh, I've been saving up my gems. I'm going to go ahead and just open this up because I want to keep a slot full at all times. I don't know why I just opened the gold one. I should have opened the silver one. Excuse me. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Wow, 21, 23. New level 7 versus level 8. Let's see how we do here. We're going to start off with our bomb tower. Um... And we'll see what he's doing. As a level 8, he should be up at 21-23. So I'm not suspecting a mortar or anything at this point in time. Here comes his baby dragon. We're going to be able to take that out very quickly with our uh, musketeer. What else is he going to drop? The minion horde right there. So we'll go ahead and arrow all of that. Take it out very easily. And uh, our... Uh, why did my musketeer stop shooting? The dragon got off another shot. I question that stuff a lot in this game, guys. It really, really does confuse me. 
Um, that free spell with a musketeer, guys, is so dirty. Look at this. She's doing so much damage to that tower. And uh, <laughs> she just single-handedly wrecked that tower. Um, and he dropped off that. So, you know, we're going to go ahead and uh, let's let the wizard focus here and go ahead and push like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, get a little bit of damage up over there. There go his barbs, which is totally fine. Come on. And yeah, we're going to get off one hit. That's all I was expecting. My computer screens go to sleep every once in a while, and it's a little bit frustrating. I feel like he's going to drop off a minion horde. No, wow, so he's going balloon, guys, and it is not going over to, there it goes, it's going over to the tower. Thankfully, he's going to freeze us, and we are going to probably lose that tower. Yes, okay, good. That didn't work for him. Nice. He has no idea that we have a balloon yet, so we're going to wait for him to use his minion horde. Um, let's go ahead and freeze this as well. We're going to wait for him to use his minion horde, guys, uh, in order for us to uh, use our balloon. We're going to go ahead and focus on that wizard right there. Take him down to a good little bit. And then watch this. We're going to go ahead and surround back here. Yeah, he's going to turn around. And we're going to take out that wizard as well as the prince. And uh, get some troops going over there to uh, to the tower. Here goes his. We've got to get down our bomb tower. Um, he's ru he's crushing it with the elixir right now. Um, there goes one of his things. Got to drop this guy off, and that's going to be troublesome for us. There we go, double elixir. We got to get our musketeer down. We still don't know if he has a freeze or not. Maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't. Uh, he does. So we're going to have to freeze right here, right on top of it. Come on, freeze! freeze, freeze. Oh my gosh, that was close. Musketeer should be able to take it down right there. And uh, now what are we going to do, guys? We need to save up seven, honestly. Um, and we've got it. So we've got seven right here. We're going to send our loon in. We're going to get ready for those minion hordes. We're going to guess it's coming right there. Look at that guess, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Um, that is exactly what you got to do. Sometimes you just got to guess and you got to crush it with it. Um, so we'll go ahead and drop this off. Get that uh, wizard focused over there. And yeah, distract this little guy right here. And go straight over here with our barbs. And I really want to get my hog up in there with the barbs because we know he's going to counter barbs with barbs. So get this guy up in here. What's he going to do? There he goes. And we are going to freeze. And our hog is going to get to that tower. We Oh, how would we get the wizard? Yes! <laughs> Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Talking about. That's what I'm talking about. And now we're just going to build another bomb tower. Look at that last second win. There we go, guys. 21-23. That's going to be big trophies for us. 39. We are now at 20. 44, let's go ahead, start opening up one of these guys, and that is going to be it for the episode today. Thank you so much. I love you guys very much. For those of you that agree with me about the mortar, let the people that say complaining with molt know that they're wrong. By the way, if you're saying complaining with molt, you are in fact complaining as well, and it makes me smile. Thank you so much, guys. I love you all very much. I'll see you on the next episode, and as always, make sure you keep calm and your class on, all right? Peace.